A billion artist first came out to pictograph Cave State Park when she was 12 years old. That's when she did her first watercolor. It's been a lifelong passion for her. And she put some of that work, at least from the last 25 years, on display at an art show here at the park. Mona Lesman learned to paint with watercolors when she was 12 years old. That's 12 years after 1941. This was my first place to paint outside. And she painted at Pictograph Cave State Park for the first time in 1953. I'm 81 now. And um, that was the beginning of my love affair with this neighborhood and this area. And now, decades later, she put her work from the last quarter century on display at the park. This painting is one of my favorites because sometimes you have the opportunity to have just the right light. And as a watercolorist, that's extremely important. When she finds that perfect lighting, she has about two hours to paint and then comes back on a few other days at the same time. Amazing. And the art show gives her a chance to talk with people who like her paintings. Everyone should have some art in their home and particularly when it's just top of the line art and particularly when that artist happens to live right here with us. Capturing a scene and capturing the essence of a place, it's very valuable in the art world but also from a historical perspective, having a record of what is seen, you know, by different eyes and uh, produced in different ways, I think it um, has a lot of value. The four-day show finishes on Monday. There is a verse from the Bible about don't hide your light under a bushel. It is the responsibility of the artist to share that with people. Why else would anyone paint, dance, do theater, play music? but for an audience. In Billings, David J, MTN News.